Tina, and I am the owner and creator at Riverbrook Soap Company. Today, we are going to be making a rose soap for Valentine's coming up. And if you are interested in the process or want to just kind of know how I do that, stick around and I will show you. So, without further ado, let's make some soap.
So I'm going to unmold the rose soap. And this is actually the first time I have ever used this um, mold. So let's see here. That's what it looks like up close. Really pretty. I'm having a hard time kind of figuring out how to get it out of here. Okay, there we go. So I do like it. It's really pretty. Look how beautiful that is. And it smells great. So we're going to be cutting our rose soap today, and I just thought that I would share this with you guys. I hope it is as pretty on the inside as it is on the outside because it is absolutely just beautiful on the outside. hear my dog in the background barking I know she loves talking to the neighbors dogs look at that oh my gosh it turned out so pretty and exactly exactly like what I was hoping for it is absolutely beautiful and it smells so good. I love the smell of roses because it reminds me of my Mimi. house always smelled of roses and this reminds me of that. I've always kept a bottle of rose perfume not to use but just because of the way it smells and how it reminds me of her. to fall off. It happens. There you have it. Absolutely beautiful and oh my gosh, I'm so happy with the way this turned out. So there you go, rose soap. <laughs>